So we're out here picking peppers. Autumn's helping. She's fixing to bite into one and find out. Stay hot. I no autumn. So we have all of these peppers. This is the mariachi peppers. We've already picked some jalapenos and Hungarian wax peppers and mariachi peppers. Stop. So we have picked the habaneros, Hungarian mariachi. Now we're doing the jalapenos and autumn's helping. We still have all of these mariachi peppers that still have to ripen. They change colors, and when they do, you know they're ready when they are the orange and red. That is, the red is the hottest. Thank you. You're welcome. So, I'm working over here on the jalapenos. Getting these all picked. And, and I'm here. And... Look who it is. We're going to do some planting today, too. Yay! Some collard greens. Some turnip greens. What else I got? Cabbage. Yay! Lettuce. And broccoli. All right. Autumn, what are you doing, girl? She's helping. Look at that pepper. Uh huh, that's a mariachi. Oh, that's crazy. Yep. So, the jalapenos did not get big this year, but they're the perfect popper size. And they are spicy. We got okra. We got okra? All right. Can't wait. Let's come over here and look at the okra. So he planted all of this. Thing. Yeah, there is okra. He planted all of this right before he went into the hospital. There's quite a few of them. There's another one right there coming in. So um, they're growing along pretty well. We'll just see how they act with this Texas weather. Ooh, this is going to be a good jalapeno right there. I'll get it in a minute. So, let me get all this picked, and we'll be right back. Here we go. Got him working on some tubs. What you planting in that one, love? I don't know. Don't know? I ain't started planting yet. Oh, okay. You're just getting it all ready? So we got our tomatoes here that come back. They was just voluntary tomatoes. Just, just the little, what you call those? Yeah, the little patio tomatoes. Yeah. Cherry tomatoes. There's a red one on there somewhere. There's a red one? Okay. And then here's the habaneros. Already picked pretty much all of the ripe ones. This will be the next one. They're still producing pretty good. Got to get in here and clean all of this out. Get it ready for the fall garden. Collard greens. Collard greens. Doing this one. And this one right here. Okay. It's still dry. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'll get it. Hey, you can show them. I do, I'm, I'm out of fertilizer, so we got fertilizer in the tub with that suction. 
house from house tools. Yep, house tools. Got the little end right here that just drops in there, just like that. And whenever he uses the water hose, it sucks oh, it up. Oh, hang on. Let me fix it. Here we go. It's got this little adapter right here that you just hook the water hose to. And then it takes and sucks the fertilizer up in with the water. Yep, he's here. Well, I'm back, everybody. Had to go in the house. My son-in-law showed up to uh, hang a TV on the wall for us, but the weeds are taking over out here. And Brandy just can't get to it right now. But it's clear around the edges. So I'm out here by myself. Brandy was going to bring Autumn out here. And I said, I don't think I would. There's too much water and mud. We've had probably 10 inches of rain this week. So... I come out here to try to plant what we were starting the other day and I had to stop because my son-in-law showed up. Then it started raining and we couldn't do nothing. So, that's supposed to be any rain all week, so I'm trying to get some stuff planted for fall. Some of the greens and stuff. Some lettuce. Well, what am I going to plant in this tub? I got some sticks from Haas Tools and Randy marked them for me. Yeah, let's see. Lots of collard greens. Haas Tools. I just got to find the collard greens in these packs. I bought this bulk a long time ago. 12 years ago, really. <clears throat> Here's the collard greens. I'm going to put just a few seeds around the edges. I don't know how many holes. One, two, three. Or how about six spaces? <coughs> six spaces in, in the middle. So today is October third, Sunday. And I'm going to do some planting. Tomorrow I got doctor's appointments. Got to go to the heart doctor tomorrow. And Tuesday got to go start physical therapy. Hopefully they can get me off of this oxygen. I'm tired of lugging it around. Well, I'm just putting four or five seeds in each little Oh, here. Whatever comes up, comes up. I just sprinkle them all around instead of trying to put them back in the bag. And just barely cover them. That's good enough for that spot. Other than that, if I get off his oxygen, I'll be doing pretty good. Yep. Guess I'll plant turnip greens over here where y'all think. Yeah. 
There's the turnips. Oh, that's weird. Turnip seeds, cabbage seeds, collard seeds, they all look the same. Except for lettuce seeds. That's collards. Guess I better close it before I spill them. It's a touch. Scrape this up a little bit. Rain, you've got it packed. About the same thing. Well, I guess. Probably a little more than that. I try to put less seeds in the holes. Like somebody's out target practicing today. Probably my brother. Well, whatever comes up, comes up. I can cull the rest. If too much comes up, we can take it out. Well, that's the turnips. In the college, go have some good eating. Move the camera down. Tomato's still going. Yes. I guess I could do some, do some uh, lettuce right here. Try it again. This lettuce wasn't that great last year. Then the freeze got it. Freeze got everything. Old Wiccan Dead still holding up. I might have to redo them next year. I don't know yet. I'll get plenty of few, then have to transplant them probably. So much seed ain't even funny. That's what happens. You buy seed in bulk and don't realize how much you get. I've had it 12 years now. You there, you there, you there. I'm going to have lettuce out my ears. Oh, well.
too much won't hurt. Cover it up. That soil is pretty wet, but I think I'll give it a little water in anyway. Oh, that's next. Cabbage and broccoli. It's getting a little wet over here. Kind of nasty. I think I'll put some broccoli right here. Well, see. Can't put that much out. They all come up, I'll have to transplant some of them. Well, over here with this tomato, I think I'll plant some broccoli. Won't hurt to mix it in right here. Ain't nothing growing here. Just have to remember I put broccoli right there. And we got cabbage to go. See where I want to put this. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. And trying. I'm getting her done. I got another tub here. I'm gonna put something in. Put the cabbage in. So about like the broccoli, only about three places, three or four. I probably have to transplant some in other tubs, so that'd be that'd be okay. 
I've, I've still got some uh, raised beds down there I need to plan in. But it's kind of flooded right now. So I just plant extras in these holes. I can transplant them later. I might be better on my feet by the time they come up. Kind of late in the season, but oh well. Get something done. I gotta find my kale seeds. I'll plant some more kale this year. I like that kale soup. Well, looks like this is all I can do for now. Little out of breath, but I'll live. <clears throat> Get my voice back would help. But I uh, appreciate y'all sticking out with me and and supporting me and uh, people that help me with uh, the money situation. I appreciate y'all too a lot. But uh, hopefully I make it through all this and. Keep on planting. But uh, y'all please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And get them over there to subscribe. We've been losing subscribers like crazy since haven't been able to put out videos like we were. But we appreciate all the help we can get. So I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye, y'all. Love you.